Hello. In this demo, we're going to cover uh, loading the Stripe payment elements uh, via the Lightning web components calling an iframed Visual Force page. So again, this example uses the Stripe API handler um, to make all the relevant calls. So to go over how we deploy this example, um, so for deployment, all we need to do is open up the, the code in any sort of code editor that allows us to publish to Salesforce. In this case, I'm using Visual Force, or I'm, excuse me, I'm using Visual Studios. Um, the piece that we need to modify is under the static resources piece, and it's just the Stripe payment element JavaScript. Once we open that, really the only modification we have to make here is putting in the, the publishable key. I'll go ahead and paste mine in and simply say file save. And then we can just deploy uh, this package. So here I'll just go ahead and say deploy to source. Uh, now that that's deployed, we'll go ahead and go back into the component itself. Um, so let me refresh this to make sure all our changes took effect. So what's happening in the back end is the Lightning Web component is calling and creating a payment intent. Once the payment intent's created, it gets passed into the uh, Visual Force page. That Visual Force page is loading it via URL parameter, and then it's actually creating and mounting the payment. Uh, the payment the payment element is if we would if it was any other web source code. Uh, again, here we can see I can pay with Google if I want to, or Afterpay. These are the only pay uh, options I actually passed in for this demo. Uh, but here I'll go ahead and put in a, an example credit card. We'll put in an expiration date, CSV, and we'll put in a zip code. Once I click Pay Now, uh, what it's going to do is actually issue a payment against that payment intent, and then it's just going to bounce the payment intent up here on my screen. So we can see that the payment intent's there, and if I go into my Stripe dashboard, and I go to payments, I'll actually be able to see that that payment's here. So here's the payment intent we created, and we can see we just captured it. So to go over how this kind of works in the back end, um, I'll show some of the code here. Um, so I'll open up our Lightning Web component. It's called Payment Elements. And from the Payment Elements, um, I'll start with the HTML. And here again, we're just doing a very simple iframe. So we're just iframing in the Visual Force page uh, that's responsible for loading the, the payment element div and everything else. The JavaScript here is, again, using our Stripe API handler. And you can see I'm just mounting the, I'm just importing the method called uh, make callout. The make callout is what handles all the backend communications with the uh, Stripe piece or the Stripe API and allows me to pass in some very simple things. So most of these only require the URL encoded uh, parameter as well as the method and the URL. And you can see here I'm passing in the URL encoded to string and then I'm passing in the URL and I'm passing in the method I'm calling. That's actually allowing me to create the payment intent. And then we, we tell it what page we actually want to load. So we're actually calling the payment elements uh, Visual Force page, and then we're passing in the client secret as URL parameter again. You could modify this or pass it in other ways. This is just a very simple way to do it in a demo. So once that calls this page, uh, you can see on this page, what it's doing is basically mounting the payment element here, giving us a spot to actually mount that. If we're going to put any errors back in, we have an error handler here as well. And then inside of the JavaScript code for the static resource, you can see we're actually loading that here. And what that's doing is actually creating the payment element for us. So here you can see uh, that we load the URL parameters uh, for the client secret. And then we go ahead and basically just create the payment element here and mount it. Once all that's done, we validate payment and we return a success if, if it's successful. Um, and then we that's when you see the prompt there as well as we're doing a simple alert on this page. Thank you.